Ah, such a beautiful place to be. Yeah. Uh, hey. Uh, I'm so old. Looking back on my life, I, it's just amazing just where God is, has taken me in my life, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, just, just remember how back in high school, our lives were just terrible, terrible oh, times. Oh, terrible times. Uh, just everyone everybody, just... Everybody hated me. Oh, man. I remember that. And you you remember how how we just we just had all these struggles and stuff and how God just brought us to our... Just humbled us and just made us new again. Yep, yep. Oh, man. How... You were... You were... You mind telling me your story again? I, I don't think I heard the whole thing the first time. Well, you probably just forgot. I've told you a couple times, but oh, well. but, but knowing your mind, it's, it's yes, okay. Oh, yes, yes, I, yes. I'd, I'd love to hear it again if yes. you if you wouldn't mind telling me. Yes, yes. Well, it was a long time ago, and I can remember. So, so I, was, uh, I was talking to Amberly the other day, and uh, what? um. You were talking to who? The Amberly. Why are you talking to her? Well, I was I was talking about the uh, the thing on Friday, but. What thing on Friday? The the class. Friday is our night. Don't you remember anything? I, the the class. We had thing. this planned for such a long time. Uh, the, the, the it's our three year anniversary. How could you forget? I'm, you had something else planned with another girl. I, I'm I can't believe you. You're such a jerk. I'm I hate you. We're done. Um, I think this is right, but I'm not sure. Um, is that, is that good? That? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah, ten seconds. Kidding me? Are you sure? No. I did all the work right. I think. That is not right. Not right. Not right at all. Not right. No. You're an idiot. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> Brian, you're a loser. No one likes you. Loser? Loser. <laughs> 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 Romans chapter 9. I want to uh, talk to you today about God's choice of Israel and uh, the fact that God he still has plans for Israel. Alright, that is enough. Bram Johnson, come up here. Young man, I am sick and tired of your disrespect in this class and your hard-heartedness towards the things of God. That's it. I want you out in the hall right now. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure what this means. Can you tell me? Or... Okay, you explain all this. Yo creo oído. Vámonos. What does that mean? Get out, I hate you. What just happened? I don't know, that was amazing. And so when World War I, tanks were first used at the Battle of the uh, uh, Somme, right? Here you have an example of the early tanks. And sometimes, though, uh, tanks were used to uh, uh, um, 
They have people in the protagonist you had this year. They pay attention to snow. Um, this tank. Now notice this tank here. This tank is already to fall over. You know, so it doesn't really matter. Well, he will go to sleep. What? Come on, Bram. We're in history class. Get to work. What's the matter with you? Get up. What's the matter? Seizure boy. boy. How many times are you going to fall over? Get off. Come on. I'm trying to work here. Okay, so we also have all kinds of uh, tank opportunities here, right? We have uh, this tank starting to tip over, kind of like Graham always seems to flop over every day in class. Come on, man. All right, you ready? Here we go. Next tank. Oh, look at this tank fell over too, just like Seizure Boy. I don't understand that. Okay, so uh, tanks are a dangerous uh, thing to be in when you're uh, in uh, World War One because you never know when it's going to happen. Joshua, you're doing so awesome. I am so proud of you. Devry, that's amazing. I love your call. That is awful. That is just horrendous. Do you know how to make a cone? Everybody else is doing it. That's just ridiculous. I can't believe it. You're just a failure. You're stupid. You don't know anything. You should be in eighth grade math. Now, Bran, tell me why you want to be in varsity choir. I just, uh, I feel like I want to express my feelings through uh, vocal, um, just singing, and I've, and I've always wanted to sing. So. Well, that is awesome. Now, the first thing you need to do for your varsity choir audition is you need to pick a song, something that you have practiced ahead of time, that you can just sing for me, something you're comfortable with. What would you like to sing? Uh, because nobody knows my sorrows. Oh, that's an old spiritual. I haven't heard that for a long time, but I think you kind of have a high voice, low voice. Uh, lower. Kind of a low voice. All right, let's start down here. Ready? Here we go. You know, as high a voice as your brother had, that's how low a voice you've had. So that is really awesome, but in your case, you will never make an adversity choir. I've never said this to another student, but you just don't belong out here. And I'm really sorry to have to say that, but I can't tell you how intensely I dislike your voice. I, it's just not going to work, but maybe tomorrow. Bye. So, yeah, I, so yeah, I, I don't know, I'm just going through a lot of junk. Um, I mean, like, my girlfriend just broke up with me, and then not even, like, two minutes is going out with my best friend, and now he hates me. And uh, it seems like everybody just hates me, and they just, they're out to get me or something, I don't know. But uh, I guess I'm just asking for advice or something. Hold on one second. I gotta finish this email. Okay. Well, everybody does hate you. I mean, think about it. I don't like you. Edmund doesn't like you. Most of the people in your class don't like you. You're just a jerk. But as far as the woman thing goes, you know, maybe she's right. Maybe she left you for a good reason. Maybe your best friend's smart to pick her up. It's not like you're not gonna find another dumb female to take you. We're pretty stupid when it comes to relationships. We are. And as far as the best friend thing, like I said, probably the smartest thing he ever did. And you, I'm sure you'll find a bunch of idiots to hang around with you and be little cronies again, so I'm sure you'll be fine, man. Suck it up. Move on. Life is tough. I'm over it. And don't forget, there's more fish. I gotta finish this other email. He's such a pathetic loser. Hey, Bram. He's such a loser. Oh, my gosh. He's a really weird. Do you see what you're doing?